like like rules on the third. Like, Yeah, so you can do lame yeah. stuff like Oh! Boy, ace them! Ace them! Show you what's up. I'm I'm setting you right to Oh, yeah! Oh! Oh, 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 Welcome to 20 Minutes Underground, your weekly online YouTube reptile show for reptiles like him and him and her and her. That's why they're here. This week on 20 Minutes Underground, we look at turtles, not tortoises, but turtles. So you're thinking to yourself, why are you in the tortoise pen then? Well, I didn't want to sit in the middle of a turtle pond. <laughs> You're attacking George. Your shoes are being attacked. Oh, great. Devoured by tortoises. So we're going to look at turtles this week, all different kinds of turtles. Again, if you have questions about what it is that you'd like to see, please leave us a comment. We want to put together some shows that you guys might enjoy. That's why we do this thing, for your guys' enjoyment. Um, if you have any, don't you dare bite my toe. Don't you dare bite my toe. Look at it, look at it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging by. Enjoy the show. Whoops. Hey guys, I wanted to give you guys a tour of the, uh, box turtle pens. We have two, a couple of pens here and about 30, 40 box turtles in each one. We keep a good variety of different box turtles in there so we can cross breed them. We have uh, ornates and easterns and three toads and floridas and... There's a sulcata trying to get out. So what I do is I'm gonna walk around and show you some of them. And what we do is we try to keep it natural. If you look over here, what we did is I just took a, a patch of my property and put up a nice little wall between it and put a, a, an under girding. If you guys see the, the gray pad that goes underneath so they can't dig out. But if you look over here, look at this one here. You got a couple of Easterns there. Easterns are a big variety. They come from different places up north. And there's a Texas over there, I think a desert. Here's another desert over here. Look, now look what happens. The way you'd be walking by and you never realize that this whole ground here and then they dig underneath there. Now the way you tell males from the females, especially this time of year it being spring, the males are gonna get big, bright, orange, red eyes. Like they're all fired up because they're really excited about having a girl close by. There's a Texas ornate. Right now we're feeding them almost every day a great mixture of, uh, they love proteins like chicken hearts and chicken parts. Oh, look at that. That's also a desert. Look at the top, look at the spotting on the top of that thing's head. Really interesting. Another over there. But plus, on top of that, we'll throw in some dead mice and rats for them to chew that up. And then we throw in a lot of sweet fruits like uh, 
raspberries and blackberries and they love watermelons and this time of the year you gotta keep them real hydrated it's just starting to get warm out yeah look at that big old florida we try to keep them as natural as possible so that they breed and we don't pull the eggs that's a nice big florida that's a male you can tell the males they have a very concave shell and so that's a girl. You see how flat the bottom of that shell is? You see how short her tail is? You can't see his tail because he's in his, in his shell, but it happens, obviously. Birds and the bees, that's how they sit. Oh, this one's a beauty. Look at this one, guys. That's another girl. You see the flat shell? She comes out. Look at her, how orange her head is. This time of the year is when they're mating. They're laying their eggs. Now we don't harvest eggs out of the box turtle pens. We let them naturally lay them underground and then with the natural temperature and rain, incubate the eggs. And then we harvest the babies when they start hatching, which will be probably June-ish. Look how amazing that thing looks. Beautiful animal. Now we also keep in our. Oh, come on, come on. Some more flowers over here. Just a couple more floridas. That's a Texas ornate. That's a funky looking Eastern, I think, or that's a three toed. I don't even know anymore. You crossed them so many times. Look at the yellow head on that thing. Great. Now, I would assume that's a male just by looking at the colored up eyes on that thing. Look at the eyes on the other ones. Look at the eyes on him. Pretty easy to tell. If you've never had the pleasure of raising a box turtle up from baby, Truly a joy, and they're sweet animals, very personable. That's a pretty one. One of the better pets that you can buy if you're interested in a really cool pet. Well worth the investment. A little more expensive than an aquatic turtle, but they seem to really connect with people. They know one person or the other. They'll come running up to the cage. Like when I'll sit here with a banana, I'll have a bunch of them come run up and just Eat the thing out of the hands. Look at that yellow one. This is one of our other box turtle pens. Most of them are hiding. But we have the same thing in both the pens. So if you're looking for a really cool pet that does super good in captivity, that doesn't require like constant maintenance and care because box turtles are great because they kind of thrive on, uh, uh, on, on neglect, as they say. Um, come and take a peek at a box turtle. We should have them available in uh, June, July. What's up underground fans? I got you a surprise today. We got a couple sliders and a map turtle I was going to show you guys. Um, I'll start off with our 
map turtle. This is a Mississippi map, a hypo pastel Mississippi map. The map turtles, um, well this one obviously, is from Mississippi. They also go by the name Sawbacks because of this uh, really strong keel that they have. These guys usually have really cool markings on their head. If I could get them to put, pop, pop it out, you guys can see. They're really cool markings on the head and it's a really robust, cool carapace. Cool little guy. Anyway, these guys, um, typical care. I'll go over care at the end with you guys, but this is our hypo pastel mystery mat. Mm -hmm. Check out that flash drawing. It's got some cool, cool markings on there. All around, cool creature. I know uh, you guys know what the typical uh, Mississippi map looks like. This one's a lighter, you know, he's a hypo, melanistic, pastel version. You can get into all of that. I don't know much about it, but anyway. Show you guys these uh, two subspecies of pond sliders we have here. Both of these are hypo pastels as well. We have the hypo pastel red ear, as you can tell from all those red markings. The red ear slider um, is actually from the United States and Mexico, but he's on the top 100 most invasive species list. It's pretty wild because everybody likes to let their turtles go once they're done uh, taking care of them. So don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. He's a, he's a very, uh, very easy, good starter turtles. Anyway, this red ear, he, hmm, what do I have to say about the red ear? Man, he's got really cool markings on the, on the carapace there. Low keel, easy to take care of. All these are omnivorous, so um, the turtle diet, you throw them some veggies, you can throw them fresh killed fish. Cool critter. And then your yellow belly. He's a little bigger, a little, got a little more age on him than these other two. Um, you know, yellow belly got some black markings around the edges of the flash drawn. Cool, cool looking head. Check out that guy. Man, he's ready to go. This one is very active, as you can tell. Um, a little bit higher killed than the red ear, but that's just because he's older, I think. I like that shell on him though. Check out those markings. Really cool looking animal. Yellow belly sliders from the southeastern US, so endemic here in Florida. Um, Hypo pastel. It's, uh, it's got some cool turtles today. Anyway, these guys, they all get around six to eight inches in length. And this is a commitment. These are 30, these guys go up to 30 years, so you get one of these turtles, be ready to, you know, for the long run. Now you can start them off in a 20, 30, 30 gallon tank, but eventually these guys are going to need a 75 gallon. So uh, have a good spot for them where they will be able to grow into, grow into their area. Um, they need a 85 to 95 degree hot spot. They're semi-aquatic, so they need to be able to get in and out of the water in their tank whether that be some floating docks or you know you can put substrate and make it like a land and water type of setup. As long as they can get out of the water and turn around while they're in the water, then you've got a good setup. So um, they also definitely need that UVB. That's important for these guys. And uh, obviously, like I said, pretty hot, hot spot. Other than that, man, turtle diet you can throw them in some some veggies if you want every once in a while obviously get that matter out of the cage after a day um, so it doesn't start rotting mess up their water great start of turtles guys only here at the underground come get you some pull out
What's up there, YouTube losers? It's your pal Moody Freaking Booty here. Gonna uh, check out some comments this week. Get you guys some free crap. Not that you deserve it, because you're a bunch of losers. And, uh, yeah. The question of the week was, what was it again? What's your uh, three least favorite mammals? Some of you morons couldn't even figure out what a mammal was. Not to worry. Your pal Moody Booty is going to tell you what a mammal is. A mammal is a furry, disgusting, fuzzy, cute, poop-flinging animal. That is the official biological description of what a mammal is. Now you've learned something. But, back to the questions, or back to the comments. The first winner is Andrew Blevins. He says he hates... Oh, I'm sorry. I hate earwigs, mosquitoes, and bed bugs. I hate these animals because I've had to deal with all of them. Andrew, number one, you sound like a very dirty human being. Number two, what's with the I hate? What are you like, that creepy little golem creature from Lord of the Ring? I hate, I hate stupid fat hobbitses. They're disgusting. Anyways, Andrew, even though you're gross and covered in bugs, we're gonna get you some free crap, so hopefully that'll make up for the rest of your life. Next comment winner, DG, DJC Reptile. He says, mites, fleas, and ticks, burn them all. I like the enthusiasm there, DJC. Burn them all, burn it down. I just wanted to watch the world burn, right? Isn't that what he says? What is that guy? The Joker? I don't even know. There's nothing to make fun of you, DJ C Reptile, so I guess we'll just move on to the next winner, which is easy. Gonna be very easy to make fun of. That is Dino Man Turtle. He writes his three down, and he is kind enough to put a one, two, three right next to him. He writes, skunks because I have been sprayed before. Listen, just because you tell people that that odor is the fact that you've been sprayed by a skunk doesn't make it true. Here, something for you, buddy. I got some speed stick in here. Maybe I'll send that for you instead. That's probably what it was. Next one, koala. Because they not cute and cuddly as they seem. I'm unfamiliar with any koalas. Or maybe you put cola. In any case, I think what you meant to say is koalas. Alright? And to hate koalas makes you un-American. Even though they're Australian. Doesn't matter. They're cute and cuddly. And finally, wolf. Because one was... Was, is, our town and ate people garbage. The wolf evidently came into town, only one of them. Is and are and eight people and if in case you're confused by that you're not alone most of the world is you know what I hate my least favorite mammal human beings that don't spell check anyways that's it this week for you comment winners and losers get out of here take your garbage take your disgusting mammals your bugs your smelly lives and get now go that's 20 Minutes Underground for this week. We hope you enjoyed the show. Remember, please to leave your comments. That's Horatio. That's one of our panda dragons. If you're looking for panda dragons, we still have them available. I know it's a show about turtles, but that's the way it works. Again, thank you guys for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this week's question of the week. Send us your best looking turtle. We want a picture of it. It doesn't have to be yours. You found it. As long as it's good, not, not some made up. Best three turtles. What's your favorite turtle? Best three? Free crap. Free crap is? Good. Good stuff. Good crap. Free crap. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. Oops.